Yeah, and put it on silent. Put it on your face. <laughs> Five people that's watching. Oh yeah, no, she told me I posted. Um, <laughs> 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 hey everybody, the seven, six people. What's up? What's up? Hey y'all. What's up? What's up? What's up? Hey, what's up? What's up? Nah. What's up, Ricky? Tim said, "Hey family, y'all see the three, the mafia right here." <laughs> hey y'all. Turn it on then. <laughs> Come on. Holly Bolly. <laughs> they were like, she called. What's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see her. Oh, we can read it for right now. No, we're so not. Oh, no. Hush. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, she might be lit already. <laughs> Ooh, <boy. laughs> hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Bring it on in. Bring it on in. Bring it on in. <laughs> It might just be that. <laughs> yeah, oh, why I do that? Don't mm. know. But anyway, thank y'all so much for tuning in to Conversations with Glizzo. <laughs> don't know where that came from, but thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to go ahead and get the party started since we got some people in here. And also, um, you know... Get this topic going because I know y'all bored. Don't have At nothing home. else to do. Quarantine. If y'all quarantining. The right way. What's the right way? <laughs> Shit. Not going to cookouts. <laughs> 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 hey, y'all know us black folks still out partying. Oh, thank you, Jasmine. She said we're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Hey. Hey. Like that beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody thank y'all so much for tuning in again we're gonna go ahead and just top it off since we got some people in here since we were talking about quarantine you know with conversations with glow I want to know how y'all introverts and extroverts <laughs> is doing like what like, how y'all doing? Like, are y'all, you know, getting to know yourself? Are you finding out new things? Like, tell me what's going on. Like, what y'all been doing? Mm, I know I can go without sex. Quarantine. <laughs> so you think so, a lot of people been having sex? Yeah. If they got to make shit. The, let me put it this way. If you stay with your spouse... You getting it on. They can't go to their side piece house. So you got to stay at home with your main and just say, get it in. <laughs> is people really quarantining though? No. 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 So no. what Hell the fuck no. is that? <laughs> <laughs> no. What is that gonna stop? What you think, Blake? What what you what you been doing? I'm in a house, twenty four cell. Y'all said I need to go kick it with my homeboys. I ain't doing none of that. Yeah. Because the shit real. A lot of people think it's not serious. It might be, the numbers might be tainted or the numbers might be fabricated, but the shit is really real. real. So with that, you know, I my dealers, so I know, like, I would hate to be around people and I come across it and then come back to my house and give it to my kids. That's the only, like, you know what I'm saying, thing that stopped me from moving how I normally move because it's killing me to be like an inside person because that's not, like, being in the house, being in the house, being in the house, that's not me at all. But... To protect my family, I would do whatever I got to do. Even though I think it's some bull bullshit, at the end of the day, I still take the necessary precautions to, to take care of my family. That's how I look at it. So, But a lot of people don't look at it like that. But, I mean, to each his own. You know what I'm saying? So, I definitely agree with you 100% on that. That's why I've been making myself, like, stay in the house. Really, I stay in the house. You know, my kids say, Mom, you don't go nowhere anyway, but work and out. Okay, the clubs are closed every now and then. You know, I step out, but... I stay in the house. I'm scared. My son got a weak immune system, and I ain't trying to, you know, test the waters. 
I be seeing everybody out. I don't turn down invites, you know, drinkings, you know, all this, that, and the third. But I'm comfortable in my home with getting my sip on. But as soon and as they say, let us what? Outside, outside, I'm outside. Really? I'm outside. <laughs> <laughs> Catch me outside. That's probably going to nah, be next nah, year, though. Look, real no, talk. Side, and I'm still not joking. going outside. I was about to say, I was joking. Because, look, on that note, right? It's a fuck. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a second wave would be worse. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, they say, I mean, I don't know. So, CDC ain't recommend. That's why they shit said it was going to last to uh, 2000, what, 22? Some people saying they predicting that. And then you got to look. Facebook just canceled all their major events for 2021. Mm -hmm. You got to think about that. So, mm -hmm. some they got insider information. So, yep. you know what I'm saying? So, it could last longer than we think. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So, that's how I look at it. Could be. Brandon Network said, I'm just um, bedding, doing my time, fixing setups, doing push ups, and playing bingo. I know that shit, right? You might, you, you know what, Brandon? You that, throw in there that, books. That, that, yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. something that you, you, yeah, I, I fucks with that. Anybody reading? What book? Anybody reading? Anybody reading a book? Um, I pulled the book out, <laughs> The Secret, but I haven't started back reading it. Don't read that. That's a good. That's a good. That's book. a great a book. book. I know. I read book. it before my. I read it. I read. I'm gonna read it again. But yeah, I love that book. Okay, so Milton oh. is a mess. He this man said, "Man, I know I missed that in-house pussy, <laughs> that on the way pussy." Be tanking. See? Get the fuck. <laughs> I know somebody's gonna be. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's a lot of folks stuck though with people that they don't want. You gotta, they, they, mil, it's mil, sad. you gotta start paying more. Come out of pocket more. She gonna pull up every time. As what? Long as you paying them forty. Look, even take it up a little bit. He take it to sixty. She coming up. She pulling up every Something time. Wrong with you got to issue And Pete, you know if, so if she's pulling like up that, for yep. forty, just you right, Blake. All you she, gotta do is add that extra twenty. What? And she coming for real? I would never. I'm on the way. Times get hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. All right, Gloria. <laughs> Times get hard. Shit, fuck that. You said 60? Okay, shit. I got 40 right here. Put that together. That's a whole hundred. Thank you. Okay, I done did my job. Pay the bill. Thank you very much. She might have uh, got Metro. <laughs> pay her pump. Her, her pump. <laughs> <laughs> and Anna said, we can find you on FB Daily. Um, Tim yeah, said, Anna, yep. Body. Better to be safe than sorry. Better to be a survivor than a statistic. I, I can Amen. definitely agree with that. Um, and Anna suggests... Oh, Anna, are you reading that book? Um, Ricky Prince, The 36 Laws of Love. That sounds interesting. I'm going to get that. Ricky been on his game. That's my classmate. I've been watching his episodes. I just started watching it oh. on YouTube. Hey, look. <laughs> Ricky Prince. <laughs> 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 Nah, but she me did. she plays in it too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, hottie, but hottie. Go ahead. me, I, I don't know. Same old same. I still got to clock in for eight hours. Come up with shit. Keep make sure my goddamn household taken care of. Read every now and then, here and there. I try to do everything. Let me tell you something knows. about reading, though. What I learned about reading, I read a book right, and I just was testing. I was testing. It was a test. I forgot what it's... Wait, hold on. It's called something about making your bed every day. Do did bed my uh, Navy dude, right? Um, I, I read the book. Took me however long to read the book. <laughs> I went to YouTube. I watched the same exact video, right, about the book. It was like he, he gave a speech at a uh, at a college. Um, what is it called when everybody graduates? Uh, it ain't coming to my mind right now, but that's unimportant. I watched the... 30 minute video what I just read and I got the same thing that I got from that book yeah. with, within 30 minutes. Yeah, that happened too. So a lot of people like me, I'm more of a visual learner as well. Me? So I'd rather yeah, see it than sit down and read a book. So I mean, or like it's easier for me to do an audio book or it's easier to go to YouTube and research the information because it's right there. It's like you don't got to do all that three, four hours reading when you can get the information that quick. Right you know what I'm saying? So I I'd rather read though, cause no, I'm, I'm, I'm I'd like, I'd like, I like I like I like marking up my book, you know, like taking notes, okay. all that good stuff. Like I try to be like a audio listener, like listen to audibly, and I I I rather read. Like yeah. I take in with me actually seeing it and putting it in. You know, a lot of people 
love um audio books yeah or audio books it, yeah. yeah or whatever but okay, i ain't so, yeah. i ain't with that but you know i'm reading about three different books at one time it's kind of hard but it's dope though <laughs> yeah. that's confusing, true. but that's that's great. Though. Yeah, like I got the Time magazine and these two other books that I'm reading. It's, the Time magazine is about marijuana, and it's very interesting. For real, for you, real. You, you, type you, of you topic. You purchase any marijuana? <laughs> oh, of course. Well, that's important, though. That but is you important. Think, though, but at the same time, a lot of uh, those stocks are not doing too well. This time. They're not. But it's the people who not in the market. They can really take advantage of the market and learn the market right now. Exactly. Like Carnival Cruise, that's one just to look into that. I'm just gonna say that, but I ain't giving no stock tips, nothing like that. But I'm <laughs> right. not, none of that, even though I do have a finance degree. But we ain't gonna even yeah, talk about that. I don't know that you know what I'm saying? Blake? But I'm just saying, Blake like, Blake? <laughs> look at tapping into certain things when you got all this time at home. That's why I be trying to tell people you got a lot of time to spend with your family. <laughs> To be around your family, be in the house, do, take that time to be productive, to think about something or, you know what I'm saying, build, you know what I'm saying? Because at this time, this is a, a lot of people going to come out of this situation and be super straight. You know what yeah. I'm saying? A lot of people going to be on the bad side and be in too, but you got to think, if you take advantage of these times, you can really come up. For real. That's what I've been doing. I'm trying to For some real. more streams of income. That's important. It's, it's, that's important, to, but, you know, you... You know, look look into stuff like that. I've been communicating um, with different people about different stocks, and I always Google some. I ain't gonna say some shit, but I be googling as far as like what type of cannabis um, dispensary should oh, I yeah. like um, That's a big market, invest in. It is, but it's kind of it's cheap for you to actually invest in, mm -hmm. and then boom, once it you know everything just clears or whatever. Then you might just see, not might, but you will see it, you know, coming on up. But it takes time. Just y'all need to be on the lookout with that. I know y'all probably hearing it and seeing it everywhere about stop, stop, stop. But I ain't no expert, but he's the expert. Nah, oh, right, now I ain't going to yeah, say expert, yeah. but you know, but he, know he has it. a, yeah, he <laughs> knows it. But anyway, yeah, Anna said, uh, Jennifer, that you got, uh, she love your lips. Thank you, Heidi. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she never. Shut up, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, however y'all are doing, I'm just glad that you guys are tuning in and just watching us because that makes me smile, as you see. But yeah, whatever y'all doing, keep doing it. Find out things about yourself. Write down, Smart journal stuff. everything that you think. Write that down. Write it down, write it down, write it down, okay? So, let's go ahead and get on in it. So, the question is, how do y'all feel about your spouse being friends with the opposite sex? I wouldn't see nothing wrong with it if they were already friends before your relationship came about. And there's always a thin line between respect. Um, when they start being disrespectful... You got to put your foot down. It's either that friendship or me. I mean, that's just it. Like, sometimes it can work, but sometimes it don't. Because to me, females sometimes tend to start to want, you know, they they, they, they get in their feelings about their best friends. And, you know, they want it to be more than a friendship. And the male, you know, don't even notice it at the time. But they be blind to it because they don't have no feelings for her, like, you know, she have feelings for him. So, but yeah, it it could be, it's a win-win. I mean, you know, it's ups and downs. It depends, but, hey. I, you know, you my turn to speak on it. Yeah, go ahead. go ahead. Come on, man. Like, I'm a man. You should already know the answer to that. So, uh, I'm going to tell you the answer to it. But, I mean, as a secure man, you got to look at it in two different ways because you could be 100% secure in a situation, but, there's a fine line, right? This is a fine line. You can do something or she goes to vent to this person that's considered a friend. Any person, a lot of people get taken advantage of at vulnerable moments. You know what I'm saying? So let's say she do have a male good friend and she's vulnerable. She could, It could be about you. He's the sit there and listen type of, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even feel comfortable with my girl having a gay homeboy. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, he might be gay, but he still got a, you got know what I'm saying? You know, so, thank you. So, I mean, it's possible for their relationships to be 
done and this this part. But at the same time, you gotta consider those facts. You know what I'm saying? Because is it truly a friend? And you can read vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. if let's say she brings this person around you and you feel comfortable or they feel comfortable or it, but if it's an eerie feeling and it feels uncomfortable and it's not natural, then they could have ulterior motives. You know what I'm saying? Right, so yep. that's it. So any true. relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So with me, my my old lady or my girl, whatever, I ain't with it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's dead. Right. Like, because ain't no, none of that. I'm everything you need as a man. You know what I'm saying? Forget all the mother niggas. You better, I better be. And I agree with you too. And then, this and this and that. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you can have as many homegirls as you want, but at the end of the day, it's all. This the only male friend you need. You got cousins and all that other stuff and all other. I mean, the the opposite of what you can get. You know what I'm saying? So you see what I'm saying? It makes. I sense. understand. It that makes, makes a sense. Lot but I'm going to give my opinion oh, after this yeah. uh, comment. I'm going to read. Um, so I love said fuck friends. I used to be that ain't shit nigga laugh out loud. Ain't no new friends or old friends. I'm the only friend me and Roger. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. You and Roger. Um, <laughs> 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 you probably talk- Are you talking about your penis? I- That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just joking. But okay. So this is how I feel about being friends with the opposite sex. I really believe that I can be friends with opposite sex. But you know, I, I have yeah, been. Hold on, wait. Ahead. I have been friends with the opposite sex, and I'm I'm still friends with the opposite sex. I don't. I if okay. So if I'm not into you, I, it's bro. You get what I'm saying? Like I fuck with you, whatever. It's something that is not interesting, or you know, maybe we met on that level, and I'm not gonna. Try to take it to the next level because if I'm sitting up here and I'm calling you my bro or whatever, I don't have no intentions on wanting to fuck you. Because I always have heard, you know, oh, she calling him her bro and they fucking this. And I don't got time for that shit. Like, it would literally stay at a bro level. But you know something, I'm not going to become friends with a nigga that I would want to fuck. That's irrelevant. I'm, you know, like, we nah, can become friends because that, that conversation that. will come about. A, a, man, but, a, my, a man's mind works different. That's why I say about different. A man's mind works different because a man can't be a... Fr- well, I don't know. I mean, let me... I'm speaking you, for myself. You, right? I'm speaking Go ahead. for Blake. Yeah. I know this. This is why I don't. I cannot have a female friend that I'm physically attracted to, cause that's it's it's same place. It's, 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 you can, I, t- you can I just said I just that. Can't do it. That's my point. So, I just said that. But, but but if that's the case, then you like those vulnerable moments can make you. But I, you know what I'm I don't like, know. I'm different. I'm not gonna reach out to no man. But about if you sit there having situation. a conversation, uh, I'm not gonna reach out to my bro. I mean, I might get his opinion in some sort, like something corny or something, but something serious. Yeah, I might call up somebody like a cousin or whatever. But somebody that I call my bro, I'm not gonna call with my relationship issues. Vulnerable issue. moments can change. But like, you, like, like, like you will do sh- in vulnerable times. You will do things that you normally wouldn't do. If you if you was in your conscious state, you know what I'm saying. Right. So you vulnerable, you never know. You talking to this kind of, they lean in, they there for you. That show to lean on, but end up being you already know how they go. But I'm just saying, I just that's just how I think. So I mean, if it's a friendship, okay. One, you got to define friend first. See, that's something that you failed to do from the beginning. You got to define friend because if this is the type of friend that. They going out to eat with, kicking away, hanging around with. That's one thing. But if it's just like a every once in a while, y'all getting together, y'all just if it's like that, that's then. But right. if it, if like, it disrespects I, your relationship or you know what I'm no. saying, that's it's a little bit. It's, that's just a tricky. It's tricky. It's that is, it is tricky. It it, it it just basically depends. It on depends the people, on right? the people, mm-hmm. and it also depends on the history as well. Right. Um, I'm going to get into the comments. Satisfied where she said you got to be secure and trust your gut. And I he he said yes. He was <laughs> talking about <laughs> his third oh. leg. Um, Mel said I'm going to be friends with the opposite sex. Period. But I'm not gonna be on no funny ish. Oh, exactly. And Jasmine said, as long as you're respectful, I don't see anything wrong. Um, Shakia, she said I agree with you. So Shakia, who do you agree with, baby? And satisfied where I said exactly, Gloria. 
But I find hard for men to be my friends only because some of they asses be wanting relationships. Y yeah. Uh, of course. Um, they be sometimes be wanting to have that. Like Blake said, men have their intentions. Their but it's in their motives. But it's it just basically depends on how the see how y'all met how the situation yeah, came yeah. about and all that, that. you yeah, know what yeah. i'm saying like the the history behind it but like i said i'm not gonna be it if i find you attractive and i feel like okay i might just want to fuck him <laughs> if i get mad or whatever yeah. but i i went and allow for him to be my friend i'll call him bro you know what i'm saying so no yeah. i'm not gonna fuck somebody i call bro right right I wouldn't do nothing like that either, but it's so many people out here that do it, but yeah, that's just messy. That's my brother. Yeah, bro, I know you have been sleeping with him for five years. <laughs> that's a long ass time. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm just being, you know, just throwing them out there. <laughs> okay. So, um, I was sitting on the phone the other night, right? And I was talking to one of my homegirls and we just talking away or whatever. So she had asked me a question, I answered it. And she had asked me, like, which would I prefer, like a traditional wedding or like uh like the new generation. So it's more like traditional wedding versus gen the new like? generation. I don't know, like, because I feel like the the traditional wedding it's more like you're going to the bride's, mo I mean, father and asking for her hand in marriage, like getting permission mm -hmm. for that. So do y'all think like a lot of people is, is still, do y'all think that men are still doing that before they propose today? I don't. I don't think that they're still doing that. I think it's just based off of them and their spouse. They propose, you know, um, he or she's, well, you know, she says yes and, then they start planning the wedding and they don't even consult with their parents or grandparents, you know, whoever raised them or whatnot. And um, when, I, when I call it the traditional wedding, I call, that's traditional too, but based off the traditional, I'm talking about like going in a church and having, you know, the recital, right. I mean, well, having the ceremony versus, because now they do it all kind of ways now, like it's, you know. New well, yeah, you can look at it like that. Pastor, yeah, you you know. can look at it like that, like the traditional, you still wearing a dress and... You know, would would you wear a white one? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> what you think, Blake? But hey, I'm gonna tell you what I got married in. Go ahead, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like have airbrush uh, shirts? Had a picture <laughs> and, uh, and white tees. Had a picture. Y'all know I'm a picture freak. Had a picture of my kids. Had a picture of the family on my shirt. You know. Had immediate family there, mother, father, you know, and with the pastor, and that was that. Hmm? Y'all will tell what I think. I mean, <laughs> Please. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean, I feel like, I mean, I think a man should, like, that's the right thing to do. I mean, because why not go to her father to get that approval? You know what I'm saying? You should right. already be working on that relationship if you plan to take that woman's hand in marriage right. so you should be building that relationship with her father however i mean sometimes it, it just it's it can be sticky too because as uh like you if i feel like this i have this thing with my relationships with people like if you don't reach out to me i ain't gonna reach out to you if you don't talk to me i ain't gonna talk to you if you don't feel if i don't feel the energy of vibe coming from you right. i'm not gonna give it you know what i'm saying so um with that being said like i think any man should Take a woman if before he takes a woman hand in marriage, he he could, should consult with her father. That's just the proper thing to do. That's yep. proper etiquette. Um, as far as the traditional wedding versus new generation, I don't know. I think a destination wedding would be fly. That's something I would want to do. You know what I'm saying? Just go off and I don't even want a lot of people there. I don't right. Know. Matter of yeah, fact, yeah. it could be nobody, just me and her and a, and, a, and a preacher by the water, some fly shit. And just you know have a reception. Saying? And we you know, do that and then come back the and family. have a reception, yeah. invite family and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So I would, that's something that I would be, me personally, interested in. But I mean, tradition, however you want to do, whatever floats your boat and makes you happy, do what you want to do and be yourself in. At the end of the day, it's about your happiness and nobody else's. So do what you feel. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Right. And that's what mm -hmm. majority of them are saying in the comments. Mel said, I don't think men do as much now. They more in the moment. But I find it very attractive when a man asks for a lady's hand in marriage. 
Yep, everybody mm -hmm. said, you know, they men men are not asking for permission. They they definitely not. And uh, Mel said, that's okay, Jen. You know, that was your wedding. You wanted to wear oh, what yeah. you <laughs> wanted to wear. Right. Okay. Look, and right. Did it too fast, though. You got the, I feel, should wait six months to a year to get married. Uh, didn't six wait that long. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, but, after okay, the proposal, so. After the engagement. That's, that's, that actually goes into, mm -hmm. like, my next uh, question. question. Yeah. And Jasmine said intimacy. Yep. Like, if she, if you like it, we love it. I mean, that's how, I, you know, it is. If you like it, you look, you know, we love it. But I don't know. It's, it's, it's more to it behind like a traditional wedding and like the new generations. I just feel like people are just now just jumping out there because this is what everybody is doing now. Like, it's like, you know, I disagree with that. I mean, I think people are really getting married because they want to be married, but people... People don't Some, not everyone. I take that back. Understand what comes with marriage. I think that's what a flaw is because some people think just because it's on paper that means marriage. People can be not. It's just a title. That's why I like to tell people. Yeah. People, people chase. They spend their whole life chasing titles. Like titles. that really don't mean nothing. Nothing. The end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because <laughs> I would consider myself, although I'm not married, everything I got going on in life. And me and my girl and my old lady, whatever you wanted, to, my queen, whatever you want to put that label in, we already did. Right, Ma right. Marriage that is what, paper what they do with for the you. Know what I'm I mean, I Just think people, the... you allow other things, you allow outside facts to define, define what you got going on. So in my mind, it's already a marriage. But I know to make a woman just take that, uh. Yeah. I know that they want that ring and they yeah. want everything that comes with that because it's something inside that it does for them. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time... If you already doing everything that's considered a marriage, you in a marriage, whether you like right, it or not. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's real. That's right. But marriage does another thing. It increases expectations. Marriage you know what them. I'm saying? So <laughs> like now certain things that you wouldn't expect of you or certain things you would now you look at it like you might have got away with it when y'all was just in a relationship. Yep. But when it's a marriage, it escalates and like you can't get away with that no more. You gotta let go of a lot of shit. So I already know what come with it. So in due time. So you better break that shit down. So true. You better break it down. Okay, and science said that she's answering the question like, can you be friends with the opposite sex? And her answer is, um, would be yes, because if you're married, relationships, and you're committed to it, nobody can come between that. Just my opinion. I'm not going to hell for a five-minute feeling. Okay. Right. So, committing, mm -hmm. yeah, all right. Um, satisfied where it said, make sure you know the person because a lot of people are jumping head first. And Mel said, I think a lot of people get married for the wrong reasons, though. I mean, some I can agree that some of them are. It's like if you know that person. You get what I'm saying? Like, you have to actually know that person. We cannot judge this person off of, like, so, like what we see on social media. Um... It's like if you really know that person and then you, you sit up here and you think about like whether or not if it's the wrong but reasons or whatever. Is, though, so like, the thing is, it's like, you know. I don't know. You can. That's tricky because do you really know a person? How well do you know a person? And people change. So you, yeah, the same you person you was with learn. may not, same person you married may not be the same person 10 years later. I use this example all the time. Like as a kid, I used to love pickles. Now I hate them. I can't put them on anything. That's an example. The reason why I use that as an example is because we're not the same people in 10 years. So Correct. if I'm with somebody and I marry somebody and they stagnant the whole time, the whole time we're together, they stagnant. They not, I'm, I'm building myself. I'm becoming better at things. I'm becoming a better businessman. I'm becoming a better uh, oh, everything. I'm networking. I'm becoming better. But they staying right here. So 10 years done pass. I'm up going up here okay, and they so staying right here. Point. So that, that causes problems in marriage because sometimes you, your most jealous person and you will be your mate. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand you want to be with somebody that's constantly building and elevating you when y'all doing the same. So that's hard to tell when you get married to somebody. You don't know that you marrying somebody that's willing to elevate. So that's why I say how long does it really get to, to you really know a person because and then that's why they, in my next... married, they don't even know you know right. what I'm saying and they've been with them for years right. and they don't know who they really are so right. how long do you think that you I mean like how long should you know. be engaged before court, you get married? Court, I think I think courting should last two to three years I think so honest. too two to three years because you understand and then like you've never seen this person angry a person like let's say right. you with somebody for 
a year or two years. And you you ain't stayed angry. together. You ain't never seen them angry. And that's another thing. That's I feel like if you stay with somebody, you should live together for a year or two. Mm -hmm. That's part of that engagement because you might have, they might have ill living habits that you're not with. You that you're not with. Man, I'm <laughs> telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you, that shit real. God damn it, you also, dirty. Also, you got them leaving shit on the motherfucking floor, motherfucker. I'm like your mama. Look, God like, damn it, pick this shit up. Like, think. <laughs> Before they move in, like yeah. real talk, and then and once and then once y'all get engaged, and boom, you move in, and you be like, this, this not, you know, this and, not and what you I done want. Went through everything, <laughs> and you done got all the way to that <laughs> point, and you don't even know this person. <laughs> Like, dang. Right. Also, you need to know their family. You need to know the history, mental illness. That's real. You know, black people think they don't have issues. We all have some type of issues. Maybe not mental, but you know, you know where I'm coming from. Um, yeah, you got, it's a lot of things that you don't know about a person that being married, you still learning them day by day by day because people change, feelings change, days change, you know? Yep. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. Feelings definitely do change. A, and communication is the key. You have to communicate. Keep, you know, the lies, you know, don't lie. Be, you got to be honest with your mate. That's supposed to be your, your best friend. Your go-to person. I mean, everything. And keep your keep your business in your home. Keep your business in your home. It's just a lot. Like, you yeah, know. I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Yep, I agree I with that, too. I can go on and on for days. And, like. and uh, yeah. And uh, the comments. When Lena Van said, most people don't take marriage serious anymore. I tell you to do the way you want. A wedding is for show. To give people something to talk about. Marriage is a serious thing. And a lifetime commitment. It's right. like a job. Right. You have to work at it every day. Daily. Yep. Right. And Tanika Daily. Marshall said, right people change. He right. You right. People do mm -hmm. change. Um, Sonia said, don't marry anyone until, you, until you're going through something with them. Then you will know if they Ooh, can boy, survive I'm under gonna... pressure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Real talk. How, how the reaction going to be, you know. Because they can be all fine and dandy when y'all not staying together. <sighs> yes. You know, you don't know how they live. I mean, sometimes you'll probably find out how they live if you, you know, come into their house or whatever. Yeah, you'll know, you'll know if they clean. But you know, you'll get to knowing them live. real, yeah. you know, really good once they do move in because, it's, it, you know, they don't have nowhere else to go. <laughs> okay. Like, no, motherfucker, you gotta go. But, yeah, I agree with you. I don't though, care where you go, but you got to get the hell up out of you. I, I say at least about two to three years, probably four. Get to know, make sure your money That's right. right. You I don't had to reevaluate. I said six to a year. I don't know what I. I guess because I did it so quick. You know, I was proposed to, and you know, happy like. I was thinking about you know, too. Cause like, I was like, you got engaged, then you got married quick. Quick, quick, yeah. quick, like a flash, like a lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick. Hey, but I guess I felt, you know, I was in love. You know, really was my first boyfriend. To be honest, because. I didn't like to put that title, like, but I ain't like to use that title because growing up seeing my uncles, how they dealt with females, I didn't want to be that female. So, you know, I, I had a lot of male friends back then and I wasn't sleeping with them. So I could have called them bro, but I wasn't using the term a bro. That's, you know, my friend, my homie or whatever. And I had a lot of them. I had a lot of them, but I only slept with one, one, you know, and that was it. And I didn't call him my boyfriend still. We still had a, we had a nice, a nice <laughs> relationship. Your here's your Frodo. <laughs> no, he wasn't my bro. Oh, oh, no, not that one. No, oh, I said, oh, no, I said, no, no, not that. Oh, oh like, yeah, that is how I said it to you. I guess, no, and then, you know why, y'all? Because, because I didn't label him as a boyfriend. I can say that was my fuck friend. You know, and but I had a she lot said, of friends. She, no, no. she did. No, she did. No, I ain't saying bro. If you say that back, she said, no, only, I said, only, I said, I would only never only call one. them bro. No, I, I said I didn't call them bro. Okay, you know, I okay. use friend right, and right, homie. Right, right. Oh, okay. But, okay. and you know, with the particular person I'm talking right. about, I, we was, I don't even know if I call them, well, yeah, bro. friend. Yeah. No, I ain't say bro. <laughs> I said friend. <laughs> so anyway, but we just always had a connection. You know, it wasn't. We did what we did, and that was it. You know, it wasn't no... I didn't say, that's my boyfriend, or get mad when he talked to other females, because I was still talking to other males. So, right. we just had that understanding. I wish I would have left it that way. Understanding. Next. <laughs> understanding. Well, y'all, we about to pump it on up. Like, oh, yeah. pump, pump, pump it up. Uh. You know. <laughs> I just wanted to get those out the way, because those was were... 
you know, some topics that I, you know, with me just looking at um, social media. Let's, let me be honest. Yeah. Um, I'm so. I wonder why I got this on my head. Tell them, man, you know, I'm taking this quarantine stuff serious. So, you know, I ain't got no help. <laughs> so, you know, I got, uh, you know, just know. He got that on his head because everybody looked just about like him. Nothing wrong with it, right, y'all? He looked good in it, honey. Handsome, honey. So I ain't got wrong with that. Everybody looked like him. It's cute, though. I, I like could have came in here with the ponytail, but hey. Mm-hmm. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> you had to do that dumb rush video. Ooh, what? <laughs> My daughter nerve. Oh, I was gonna do it with my hair hanging though, Glory, but Kayona wouldn't show me, and I really didn't know how to do it. To be honest, I was gonna do that with my hair hanging, but hey. Okay, you girl, lashes and on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got a question, right? Um, like, why do communication change after having sex with someone? Maybe um it wasn't good and you just cut a person off, you don't talk to them no more. Or, or like the connection. What if it was good and it and the communication like before y'all fucked the communication was just like was you know, good. Boom. You know, boom. You know, yeah, like you know, your something. conversation was great. You know, you checked on me every day. All that we talked. All that. And then boom, after you get the cookies, just like rah, 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 rah. And but they don't they tell you <laughs> that it was good, but it's just right. Like, <laughs> But, <laughs> I heard what she said. That's all she wanted. That's all, that's yeah. Maybe that's like, what it was about. He didn't like, quit. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna, I done did it. Let me cast it. Let me cast it out. But when we say that, that's gold. Like, she me, just, I'm like, being honest. For her though. to say it, that's gold because, like, as a male, sometimes that's all it be. Like, that's the goal. Like, that's what it sometimes is. it's just like, just to say I hit her. Just, just to, um, just she Then she, they're done she that. She collection. You know what I'm saying? She already in collection. I can Check always him say off. that. Boom. So it could be somebody in high school that I crushed on that I wanted. She might not even be as Boom. bad as she used to what? be. She might not even still be bad like that. But the fact that I wanted it then and I didn't get it. Now nah, she trying to give it now. It's just a check off the shelf. Right. Shirt. I got it be done. It's, it's going to be you 10 years down the road. I finally got them. Well, that's how it be. That's real. <laughs> real talk, though, y'all. Real spill. Yeah, that's the answer to it. That's why I count communication. They, somebody can really act like they into you for the mm -hmm. time being just to get what they, they want. They get what they it's want. It's, it's, it's a wrap. Yeah, it, it, it is. But, you know, I don't feel like when the conversation mean, should switch up just because you don't got nah, what you don't got. You got to thank somebody. Got Mike got other stuff going on. Yep. And they Probably even got a wife. You know, know. Right. Yeah, they might got other things Oh, Susan going trying on. to holler at me now, boy. I've been oh, wanting that man, bitch, boy. Been you been remember that, that ass? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And just, all this and that and that. So it's like, okay, um... I already, I'm already deep in this situation. Oh. We're not together yet, but I've been wanting to get this situation, but I don't want to go away from, straight away from this. So she throwing it real quick. Let me jump over here and get this real quick. Get she back home. Cool. Sorry, I can't deal with you no more because I got this over here. That's how it happened, man. That's just real talk. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know because <laughs> if, <laughs> if I done had sex with somebody and I thought that the penis was good, I'm going to still want to talk to you like the same way that we was talking to each other. Like before we, like before you even got the cookie or I even got the stick. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, keep the conversation going. And Latoya said, sex was trash. What is there to talk about? I don't think it be that all the time. I just don't think like the sex would just be trash all the time. I just feel as if that sometimes they don't want to make it obvious or sometimes they don't want to seem like a bugaboo. If you get what I'm saying. Like, they don't want to make it seem, you know, like they sweating you. Like, yeah, it was good, whatever, but I ain't going to sweat you. But I'm not asking you to sweat me. I'm just saying, like, keep the conversation going. I, I don't even say, hey, or bye, see them out. They don't, they don't even speak to you. Like, but that's, that's, that's the game. game. <laughs> sometimes it's just like a, it's, it's just as simple as an ego stroke. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Light. It's just light. It almost took out the light. What? You know what I've been listening to that. But too. it's like an ego stroke. Yeah. So, I boom, boom, she bad. Doom, doom, doom. Knock off. Boom. I'm out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, he, you stroke his ego. You did what you were supposed to. He did what you were supposed to. Y'all both had a good That's time it. in the midst of it. Y'all communication, but 
at the end of the day, it is what it is. You go your way, I go. And you don't communicate like that. But right. when you see each other, you gonna say, "Hey, you know, right. hey." And you might have cool, small talk. How friendly. you been? Yeah, right. And maybe you, since you say how to communicate, you know, like, right. oh, you ain't hit me up after we da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I uh, be the that, one to ask and be I'm like, just speaking it. What's up? <laughs> yeah, right. all right, keep it going. See, <laughs> I mean, I you yeah, you can look you at it like that, but it's I don't know. I I don't know. Both people, both parties got what they wanted. They was pleased. It wasn't meant it. to be what it was meant to be. And what sometimes it was. Sometimes people communicate that too. Right. Hey, after this, you know, it is what it is. We'll no, see each other. Name tonight. somebody that communicates some shit, shit like that. Well, after this, you know, we ain't gonna talk not, like how not, we used to talk. Not really but saying just that nature, that but I'm you know, gonna... talking and saying like, okay, if somebody come at you, if it's a new person too, you know, come at you and they wanna, you know, do, you know, wanna have sex with you or whatnot, and they say, you know, I have a girl. Um, how you feel about that? Uh, do you think you can do that? Do you think you can handle that? Or you know, and if you find me attractive, whatever, whatever, and oh, they. Some people talk you know about it. Some people time, really. You want to know what I heard one time when they made some really sense. talk about it. Don't tell you what they said. I heard it was a line. I wish I could quote it. I have too, uh, Big it's, Bell. It's, it's a, a female to pass up on a nigga that got a girl and doing right by his girl, right? They pass up on that nigga, but a deal with a nigga they normally hitting like five to seven other women at the same time. Women. They talk, and they would choose over. So you risking. Dealing with this nigga that done hit all these chicks rather than this nigga. He just, he got his own situation. He might be tricking off on you on the side. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But you risk it more by dealing with this nigga. But you're going to pass up on him knowing he hitting the same thing consistently over a nigga that's doing all this, 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 right. and this. And you don't know what he doing. So that's very true. I agree with that. But, I mean, I understand the logic behind it because a lot of women, a lot of know that is true. A lot mm-hmm. of women... Want to feel like they don't want. You know what I'm saying? Want to feel special. I get that part. But, I mean, you got to. Well, if a man come at you like, hey, this is what's on the table. This is what it is. If you either with it, you're not. You're not. Except a lot of women say they want you to come like that, but they don't respect that. For men of course, like a lot of women is going to be on the train riding it right. until they really see what the fuck going on. Right. Then they're going to be like, oh, no, you know, I, right. I'm not with all that. I need my time. I need this. I need that. Whatever. But, you know, it's just oh, like, yeah. keep. Yeah, they will. <laughs> what? I'll read something. Something hoes will try oh, to destroy. Oh, Sonya said hoes will try to destroy our relationship. Hoes, small bitches. Everybody type cold right. small. Everybody <laughs> type cold small. Look, I, those are what we call them, Sonya. Them the ones that destroy. Cold small. Why small. they got to be called they cold Because they decide. Yeah, and man. they but you too. cannot just say Shoot. that they a coleslaw because you don't know you're looking at her as a coleslaw but you don't know how the fuck he looking at her on his place I'm saying if he have a main woman that's what she a coleslaw and, and again at the end of a day eating, <laughs> okay so let's say for instance you eating and there's, oh, and there's two meats and you got the fish and you got the chicken, chicken. <laughs> you gonna got them still get both of them cause you gonna wanna know which Ooh. both are how both how of them taste, taste. yeah you gonna you gonna wanna know how that fish tastes. You gonna wanna know how that chicken tastes. The so one that yes. ain't the man is still a side piece of meat, <laughs> coleslaw, whatever we want, whatever we wanna call it. <laughs> Look, coleslaw. And then, <laughs> <D-D>. <laughs> and then Sonya said they get off on destroying a relationship because they want what the woman got. But sometimes it's that's it's, true. Sometimes a lot of times. Uh, okay, so I'm just speaking from experience. A lot of women don't want to sit out here and destroy a relationship. Like, whatever Jennifer said, as far as, like, coleslaw. You don't know how this man, you looking at her like that, but you don't know how he is looking at his plate. It's his plate. So if he got fish and chicken, he gonna goddamn taste both of y'all, and then guess what? You don't know what the fuck you telling her. She might be the fish and you the chicken. Whatever, you know, you don't know. Hey, I'm looking at the screen. I'm talking about who wants coleslaw by themselves? Ooh, I know. I don't even like fucking coleslaw. <laughs> For real. Ooh, like, boy. And Lamar hey, Garnett says, milkshake they well. bring all the boys to the yard. Damn fucking right. It definitely do bring all the boys to, to the yard. That used to be my shit. Boys. I mean, yeah. Yeah. But I. Oh, that rhyme. I said, 
I don't know. That's to each his own. To right, each his right, own. Right. That's what I tell everybody. That's my favorite scene. Yeah. It's raining kind of hard. Ooh, I'm going to sleep. Y'all. <laughs> <God, I'm not, laughs> y'all, that rain is hitting hard. Ooh, y'all. call my name. Wait now. <laughs> Just keep us in your prayers. What? You know, well, you at home, bitch. We, I'm going to wait until it comes down. Y'all going to wait. Then we're... The tornado wanted out this month. <laughs> yeah, but we're going to keep it going. We got to love you, honey. Come on. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and keep it going. So we're going to ask, is having, um, ha is having bad sex a deal breaker? Blake, you answer it. Well, I'll finna answer. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I'm... Yeah, that's a deal breaker to, a deal for break me. Deal breaker on what though? Like, it's like you don't want to. You don't want to. Deal breaker on what though? Like, yeah. what is it? Don't want to be in a relationship with them if the sex, if the sex is bad. Is that what you're asking? Yeah, no, like, like, no is, not like, even if the I'm sex is like, bad. Like, if the, well, if it's having bad sex, a deal breaker. Like, would you got? Though? It doesn't matter what it's on. Like, however, like you don't want to fuck with the nigga no more. You don't want to fuck with the bitch no more. Oh yeah, it's bad, bad sex. sex. And, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Is it Pass. a deal breaker? Yeah, it is. Yeah. And, okay, so let's say for instance, I'm gonna say this: you fuck with a nigga or whatever, and he say, "I don't eat pussy." I was gonna say. I was gonna say like, um, <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> Oh, go on and sit in the look, boy, but section. That, but that's what I was trying to say, like a deal break on what? Oh, okay, okay. You, I mean, because like, 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 she might, it might be wet, but the head fire. Hey, you know I done heard the, the pussy fire, but she can't suck dick. Right? I done heard it. I done heard it. So, yeah. I mean, I might, you know what I'm saying, we can gauge. Like, okay, right, I might right, right. let her know, like, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be like, 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 Saying, you know what I'm saying? So, like, as far as the deal breaker, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm speaking from, I'm in a, I got a situation ship. You know what I'm saying? Which is the same thing as a relationship, which is like we rocking and ain't no, so I don't look to, you know what I'm saying, do nothing else so at this time in life because I'm happy. So, I mean, Love I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to answer that because, I mean, I, I ain't fucking nobody else. So I mean, you can talk from previous, from, from the past. Previous, from you, past you know how it was. Was it a deal breaker? No, if, if, I mean, if it, like, what, what, what along, you answer that though? Really, like the, along, the pussy along, can be wet it, in the head. It just depends fiber, yeah. on the person. It depends. Yeah, really. You can have somebody that's a cool ass vibe and it that you might love to hang around and, and talk. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, kicking it with and it, it just go there. But that's really yo. You rock with that person like yeah. that. You can vibe. It's a vibe. So I mean, it's a lot of a lot of factors going there. But I don't I, I don't think it's a deal breaker if I mean if you ain't on it like that because. Before I, know, I was in this, I wasn't on it like that. So if it's a cool little vibe, then I'm rocking with you. It ain't even got to be. Sex out. ain't got to be involved. Right. Period. I mean, and you gonna cut it out? I'm gonna cut it out. Right. Period. You know, right. we can still, you know, hey, or you can call me up though. as long as I'm not married. You know, you can call me up and still, you know, I will talk but to you. But like I said, the communication is key though because you might, you might tell I don't like you, like you. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Don't do something right, and you don't like the way they do something. You got you don't got to. Okay, yeah, so how do you how do you say? That's what. Yeah, you thinking all the way over that, boy? You know what I'm saying? Like you 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 ain't doing something right, man. Hey, wait, hold on. Go, do some let let me get to the comments, and then I'm gonna. Some and then, okay, so Chanel said sex is healing. So if not getting your healing in sex with your partner, what's the purpose? Exactly, she said. Bye, Felicia. Um, Benny said it's not for me. Um, it's not for me because if everything else is good, then she's okay. Um, Tiana said definitely. Monique said it's not. Well, Dana said <laughs> it's not. There is more to her connection than than sex. Sonia said when you after sex and sex only, you might come up short. If you truly love the guy, you can work with him, teach him what you want. Sex cannot be. All it takes to that's mend a, a relationship. A it's different for men. Y'all can come regardless. Exactly. We can come regardless too. Oh, yeah. That's all I was trying to say. That's we can we, that's, we can come That's a handful. That's why she said what she said. That makes sense. Men come Ooh. regardless. So at the end of the day, if uh, the people look at it deeper than that, you know what I'm saying? I tell people all the time, sex is just sex. Sex? You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 I... Like, not to say nothing about I guess about sex, just sex is like just going to be sex for sex for me right, because I don't have, let me, 
I don't have time. I don't have time. And I don't have time. And that's just how I feel. I don't have time. I don't have time to be sitting right, up here right, trying to, right? especially okay, if I'm yeah, trying to get them. No. So if you was to be married, right? Do you think I'm not going to marry a man enough to end a marriage? Do you think so your, your significant no. other you having mean? sex with somebody else is it important enough to end a relationship? Answer that question. That's what I want to know. What? Like, like, it, it's, oh, answer the question. Uh, so, no. the, if, if sex is that important, is it important enough to end a marriage? That's my question. No. You okay, could. so let's say, for instance, right, we married. But the sex was born before, I mean, when we got married. And then something might happen to him. I don't have no choice but to stick it out to, you know, stick it out with him. Because he might not no, like the not right move. So that's what are you what saying? I'm saying that if sex, no, no, no. I'm trying to speak from outside. Let's say okay. you're in a marriage. Okay. This is your husband and this is you. You go have sex with somebody else. So is sex that important in a marriage for you to be over with and done with just because that person has sex with somebody else. That's what I'm asking. I mean, no. I'm not going to end my marriage because, you know, he want to be able to Right. So, so you know, okay, okay, what if it's a habitual thing? What if it's something that's constant? Of course, yeah, you, yeah, of course you're going to end it. it. Yeah. You're not going to okay, want to be okay, with no then, habitual okay, cheater. Okay, then, Some so, people do, though. Some people do. But so, so this we is my will, take on it. Okay, so if that is the case, right, then what... So, okay, 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 okay. Nah, 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 nah. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. No, no, ask. Nah, 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 because I asked what I wanted to ask. I said, okay, I said, but I'm just saying, like, I, okay, I don't want to sound so, like, so, you so, know, so, no, sex no, 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 is no, no, like no. all is what I If it's habitual, right? What if it's like, with, like, it's no feelings involved. It's just like, like what she said, a man gonna come regardless. It's just a nut. And so if it's habitual and it's, that so what how do you look at that because it's not no feelings nothing attached nothing so how so it's like he's dealing with multiple females right but it's not nothing that is consistent so he might hit her here boom three four months hit her here boom three four like do you I get would, what i'm trying to say yeah because it ain't it ain't it and then in your mind what you could create as a woman to say well something ain't right with me you know what I'm saying? Or why is it because the whole is sex a deal breaker? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Might not be wrong. Right. 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 It could just be a man's nature. Nature. That's what I want to say. That's in a man's right. nature. That's and and, and this is the this is the terminology that I've heard from you know even married men's men's and you know committed relationships with the baby mothers that I, I still want to get my dick wet. You know if they don't want nothing. That's just what they say. You know if you want to be honest, communicate. That's and and it's just a nut. That's what they to me. I just want to get my dick wet. You know, I just want a nut. You know, just. But he ain't you trying. You got your to... whole hand. Huh? You got your whole. Oh hand. yeah. Oh, I'm but... trying to get ready. Right, 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 right. 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 It ain't my fault. I'm just, uh, I'm just digging. These are just questions that. Because I don't have I somebody. Call, yeah, yeah, like that's crazy. Like, you know but I, 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 that's right. You better go on and grab some vessels. Because what, men, what a lot of men don't do is able to see shit from a different perspective. So because a man will do some shit unconsciously and not give a fuck, but he's not ever looking at it from a woman's perspective. So, like, a lot of men feel like they can take a woman through the dirt and she's expecting to be still there with them. You know what I'm saying? After all you done drug her through and all you expected, can you handle the same shit she do to you if the shoe was on the other foot? So, a lot of men don't use their brain to look from that perspective. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like it's important that the reason why I asked y'all those questions it's not for me. It's for other people that, you know what I'm saying, hey, y'all responds to it yeah, because it's yeah. important. Right. And so, going to the comments, um, Chanel says, sex is deeper when you want to spend the rest of your life with that person. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stephanie said, I'm not teaching nothing if the sex doesn't work. We not getting married. Exactly. Exactly, Stephanie. Um, intim uh, Rashida said, intimacy is better than sex. If you can lay in the bed and have good Just conversation... conversation. Make each other laugh. Um, sometimes that's better. <clears throat> sometimes that's better than sex. Yeah, so that true. can be so better true. than sex. Yes. Like, you know, you can make love so to my true. brain. And then Chanel said, no, sir. If he is having sex with someone else, you messing, uh, you messing up my healing. No, I got to go. Exactly. So, and uh, Sonia said, that's not a man's nature. That's an animal. Which is yeah, 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 like, it's understandable. Yeah. Like... Hey, at the end of the day, a man is a... Look. That's what they love to use, though. That's in the man's nature. I mean, nature. that's what I'm saying, look, but a look. lot of men go that, and, and you ain't all a man. That's what I'm saying. That ain't my nature, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying... I, 
They cannot handle it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it help, is. A I, man cannot handle. I, like I said, to me, I just feel like I don't have time to teach a man, and I and I definitely agree with Stephanie. Stephanie, like, if you're approaching a grown ass woman, please have a grown ass man. I mean, a grown ass penis, and whatever else that you got to bring, because don't nobody got time to be sitting up here talking about teaching you and go right here. Oh no, down here and. No, hit me like this. And no, I like my legs to be up like this. I don't, I don't that's know. Similar. Like, that's a whole lot. So, if I if I feel like I got to teach you, that's the deal breaker. And that, basically, that's, that's a having... a boy. So, if a man think like this, she said that's a boy. So Yeah, I guess. But um, she's saying that for, for a man to, like, think that sex is a deal breaker, that's a boy. I think that's what she referred to. Um, Stephanie said, I can converse with a friend. I don't need, I don't need you to be my partner. I can converse converse with a friend. I don't need you to be my partner. Right. If you just only have the sex, but I get what everybody <laughs> is saying. And John Johnson said, fuck hoes and get money. <laughs> yeah, I always got He's so funny. And Sonya said, we cannot continue to call an out of control boy a man. That's a misconception of what a real man is. We don't know what a real man is, to be honest with you. I mean, I ain't trying to disagree, but nobody, everybody is a real man in their own way. I was going to say that. You got to define what a real man is. Everybody is a real I man mean, in their own I way. Mean, a I, real I, man. I, I've learned to come to accept people for what they at. You know what right. I'm saying? Because, like, I can't judge you on certain things. You know what I'm saying? Because before certain, like, it's a, it's, a, it's a saying, like, a man that thinks the same as he does that. 45 when he was 30 has been dead for 15 years so if i think the same way as i did previous to where i was at now then i wouldn't be able to evolve into the man i am today so i mean you can take bits and pieces because i mean it it depends some people look at marriage is sacred and you be with one person for the rest of your life and then you got other men who are well accomplished well successful a lot of and they feel like polygamy or i can have multiple you know what i'm saying so i mean you can't define what a man is by what they do as far as outside of there i feel like a man is someone who takes care of responsibility take care of his kids take care of his household do it does those certain things right. so you may lack or be flawed in the area but if you do everything to take care of responsibility hold your end of the bargain do what you're supposed to do in the household and you a man in my book you know i what think I'm let me speak up before we move on to that i think what she meant about he's still a boy is when she was on the other topic about um when they sleep around, sleeping like you said, sleeping with multiple but women. But still, at she's the same time, you still cannot define what a real man is. Not a real man because he can be uh, being honest and truthful for every single one of those women that he's dealing with. He's forthright, right, being honest, telling her, "Well, I got this going on, and I'm doing this, doing this." You know what the business is. Respect it or deal with it. So or let not. me tell he's you something. Like in other cultures, so he's being uh -huh. oh no, you can't consider you can't because in other cultures. You got people, right. you got a whole man that has like nine, ten oh, I know wives. That. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well, would you well, not consider him, him a boy? And then and, take you know, care of business, but that's, that's their culture. So, no, yeah, I see what you're coming from. I see you where you're coming from with that. Equally for each for type real. So, so if talk about this culture. No, I'm just saying. Because the Bible, it says for a woman to submit, he has to be able to take care of home. So, if he's taking care of all them homes, can we call him a boy? Can we call him a boy because he I has agree, nine wives? I see what you're saying because he could be taking care of the home but still be out sleeping around. Right. No, I ain't even going to say sleeping around. I'm just saying. I just I said, saying, I can't, You can't define, put a definition on something. You can't just that, really just right. put it because everybody has their own definition right. of real. Right. Like you have your own I definition. Do. He has his, I right. has mine, she has hers. So right. you just can't just right. really just pinpoint that. I and, I, and I, you know, that's just... You know what it is. I ain't disagree with the statement, but I just feel yeah, I'm not disagreeing hey, either. For you, for you to for you to say what a real man is, you're trying to define what a man is when you can't define that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And John Johnson said a woman has never been a man. She can't never tell a man what a man is. And science said if you have no self control over your body, you can't rule a nation or properly run a household. America's culture. I mean, I guess. I disagree with that. I mean. Floyd Floyd look at, he one of the richest men, he, but he oh, yeah. he take care of his home, he do what he do, he got most of the women, he brag about it. 
So I mean, how's I mean, he's an example of a man that you have. I think this is no self control. I, I mean, but he I, do what he want to do, but he take care of everything else, and he got his business right. So it, how can you not say he's not a real man? See, Floyd you know is not saying? married either. I think when it comes to a married man, and right, yeah, he could be right. taking that's care different. of a home. But, you ain't, but when, when you have a divided, that's a difference between a married man and a real. That's man. what I'm that's defining. That's what I'm. That's what I've been basing saying. it off of. You know, and that's why I think Sonya talking about too. You know, if they're married. Um and you know taking care of the household everything but still sleeping around that's a boy activity that's not a you know man that's how that's that's my opinion I'm talking about a married man but a single man a single man they that's I mean he that's that's yeah and, and still and still I figure I mean I would still say that's still a boy because he haven't settled down at the end of the day you cannot tell another grown person <laughs> how to be a grown person. So what? Yeah. You can't. Like, like, you cannot. I've learned that the hard way. I cannot sit up here and feel like I could tell another grown person what to do. No, we can't. We can't Even tell them what to do. Yeah. We can offer advice or something. You you doing, you know. Y'all can offer mm-hmm. help. Find yeah, out help, what's going yeah. on. See if I he has agree. a problem. Right. I agree. Yeah. 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 Do that. That's what you can do. Phone. You know, but, you know, it is what it is. You know. So that goes into while we on this subject. <laughs> um, so Carlos Miller had tweeted that men are intimidated by successful women, and he said this came from Linda, second shift manager at Taco Bell. <laughs> and John said he stated because he don't want to hit me with this, and he stated that men are not intimidated by women for the most part, rather, men avoid difficult females. Sometimes I do feel like, you know, a male is intimidated by a successful woman. And if he's, I mean, if she's making more than him and some, I feel probably even some marriages, it becomes an issue because he's thinking, I guess like, you know, he's the stay at home mom while she out, you know, doing, you know, doing her job or whatever, making figures. Um. Do I got to speak on this? What, what was the question? Is about <coughs> as, far, as far as man being intimidated about a woman? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 I got it. We okay. said something about a man being intimidated. I think that the caliber of the woman, like if, if, if a woman be like, I'm tired of all these dudes being in my inbox, blah, 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 it says a lot about you. It don't say nothing about them because a woman that's you feel intimidated by or you got to say like, I need to be here to even approach her or even come at her for me to even have a chance. So if you get hollered at a lot, you're not of high quality. Because high quality women don't get hollered at a lot. Because niggas know they ain't got no chance and they know they're going to get shot down. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it just depends. Like, because a nigga that's intimidated is not going to shoot you no shot. Like, a a man that's intimidated by a woman, he's not going to shoot a shot because he he feels like, oh, I got to be up here. I got to have this or this, this. To come at her, to even come at her correct. You know what I'm saying? So a lot you ain't gonna come half stepping with no real woman. You ain't gonna come half stepping with somebody you know that ain't on point. So if you get hollered at a lot, it's the way you portray yourself and the image you give off because a lot of niggas feel like they got a chance. You know what I'm saying? But I want to point out too, some women do like that right. nature some of men. Like that attention, I know women that own you know multiple business. They but they go get them a hood nigga. That's what they like. You right. know, so it's it, it, it depends it's the on the person. On right, right. It go both ways. Mm-hmm. So I want to go back to the comments and this basically leading back to you know uh, what we were just talking about. But um, Stephanie said the definition of a man can only be defined by that man exactly. And Sonya said if he's honest and everyone's agrees to it, then yes. But if he's sneaking around, he's yeah. a boy. Right. Right. Yeah. And um, Don yeah. Ron says some people have open marriages. Are, who are we to judge that man as as less than a man because he doesn't have a standard relationship? And he that asks, are somebody. we measuring success by income? By income? When, when yeah, like, uh, how, when, when she is about successful by, woman, by intimidation, like men are intimidated by... I mean... I would uh, say by, the by a successful mean, woman. A lot of people... Uh, uh, they go hand in hand. A lot of people consider success as income and having money. So I mean, from from a materialistic view. So I believe that's yeah. where the question came from. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Right. Stephanie says she disagrees. Intimidation is not a man or woman 
it's a thing. I mean, I mean, men or women thing. It's a human thing. Yeah, because I mean, anybody can be intimidated by anybody, but I don't. I mean, you do have some men out here that are intimidated by women that make more than them because they possibly feel as if they don't have a chance. That's like on um, Think Like a Man, the first one. How um, Taraji had, you know, how she did him when she found out what he do for a living. Yeah. What the dude do for a living. And it was just like, you know, I wanted, she wanted to stop fucking with him because of what Oh, yeah, what, she, but then she fell in, yeah, yeah, I remember that move. I had to think back. <laughs> Right, so it's it's just yeah. it's just basically. But her depends. friends clown her. They were just clown on her. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and um, Jay said our daddies was Rolling Stones for the most part. So are you saying they wasn't a man and they took care Ooh. of home? Well, that yeah, right though. Yeah, <laughs> they I do. Mean, you you you. That's that's a sensitive subject because that that made you want to have that even more. You know what I'm saying? So. You can say that help some some people like for instance you, his example he gave was our father was Rolling Stones are you gonna say they not no men that's where you gotta but you gotta say from your own experience like okay I may have not had that relationship with mine but I can give that to to my my family or my daughter or my mm -hmm. hey but you taught me without even being there so your your lack of or your presence not being here you kind of help me because I know. How to be everything that I wanted. You know what I'm saying? So, with that, I look at that as like, you got to, even though at the end of the day, you may be like, oh, this, 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 and this. At the end of the day, he still was a man because he did what he had to do and he made him. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to look at that both ways me. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I would not consider a man less of a man because he, because you end up learning lessons that you wouldn't have learned because you see people that had fathers in their lives and had this and, and still, had everything and, and, and they then end up being a deadbeat. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. You're like, dang, yeah, yeah. how you it's what they take, you know, your take daddy in. was there, and you had all that. You your daddy was the preacher. And you know how it feel. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So for that kid to miss that and then grow up and become that, that's a beauty and that's a blessing in itself. So, I mean, you can't, your lesson was taught without even you even being present. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Depends yeah. on how you take it, you know, how you grow up in it, depending on the situation. Because a lot of people will, you know, blame that situation. It won't grow from it. Right. You get what I'm saying? So, it's just like, it is what it is. But, um, <clears throat> run, uh, Dunn Run said, that's the issue. If we measure success, if we measure success strictly, strictly by income, it's always going to be an uneven playing field and i can agree so like i the intimidation would be like me making more than you that that could possibly be the only intimidation people. that can possibly go on because i'm the man and, and you know think, i'm supposed to make man, this i don't think a man see that's like an ego thing though like a man who's not securing his ego gonna feel that way like a woman that make more than you like that should motivate you to make even more money. That should motivate you for y'all be on the same level playing field. So mm -hmm. I don't think um, a woman making more or being more successful. I feel like success breeds success. So like if I'm around it and that's my girl and she going she gonna to build me up to where we just on the same plane. We think about business ideas. We think about building together. I mean, it's it's like a, it's like you're, you shouldn't be intimidated by that. That's all I'm trying to say. Like, why are you intimidated by someone that's, it should motivate you only, but I mean that's right. that's just the ego. Should. Like you, uh, that person feel too much of their ego because I mean you got to be able to like that ain't nothing. That's life. They woman, tell they you to talk you your nothing. shit, Blake. They said mm -hmm. talk your yeah, shit, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? And I feel all of that. And I mean, I I don't know. It's just the whole point. The I whole mean, intimidation thing is it, it has I ain't to be been about intimidated by the woman. So I can't. That's why I can't speak from being I intimidated. intimidated. You know what I'm saying? Man. I done been like, well, she might. Yeah, I'm still gonna shoot. You know what I'm saying? But that's here nor Me there. Me too. I'm just saying. I think just, I still. You know, I don't care. Like if oh he do this. Oh okay. Shit, you know, let me got show me to, how yeah, to, yeah. Let me see what's going on. Like I I'm ain't gonna. gonna you're not gonna intimidate me. Uh -uh. You know, all. you know, I don't know. Like, right. I agree with that statement about society setting standards that it shouldn't. Right. That's why mm -hmm. you shouldn't teach us. Yeah. Candace said that. You shouldn't teach your kids a lot of things because I think there's a shift and we're not seeing that shift happen, but the shift has already happened with like the way our minds think as black people and 
things of that nature because we not teaching our kids how our parents and grandparents taught us. You know what right. I'm saying? And with that shift, it's kind of helping build. It's kind of seeing black people for, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you, if we get to where we need to be as black people, if we see on that eye level, like, we've been conned and duped all these years, giving this white man game out to each other. And that. But as our kids shift and they wake up and you see more, you're like, dang, you know what I'm saying? Black people really going to start moving mountains right. because... We are finally on getting on that same accord where we most we're more powerful as a fist than as individuals. You know what I'm saying? Amen. I read the screen while you was talking, Amen. Blade. That one made me laugh so, so hard. Don oh. Ryan said relationships are about balance, and John Johnson said ain't no intimidation. Can't be my ass. <laughs> oh, you put up that. Like friend. yeah, I, John, you shouldn't <laughs> say that. You don't know um, what can happen. Um, but, and then Shamika Butler said, a man is only intimidated if he feels he don't deserve her. Right. A deserving man I going to appreciate, I appreciate what she brings to the table and help and motivate him to be better. Right. And yeah. Jay Nooney said, are men checking for credit score like women? Should we? Y'all, yeah, y'all should. should. Why would you want to fuck with a... Spend? Why would you want to fuck with a bitch that got bad credit? She ain't going to be able to help you. She going to be having her hands out to you. Y'all need to be able... I ain't, I don't know. Like, you could probably help her with it. If, you I, know, hey, if it ain't too bad. I never, I never check for no credit, credit score because you'll be able to see external. You know what I'm saying? Externally. Like, a credit score, you you see a woman that got her shit together. She got this, 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 this going and going. You ain't got to really pay attention to the... I don't think that's important at all. Because, I mean, I, don't, I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, because if you coming with your own, you ain't looking. That's the thing about society. That's what we should break down. If you already come with it as a complete package, you can deal with something that's not a complete package. That's what motherfuckers need to understand because you ain't got to, uh, I'm going to help you be a complete package. That's how a lot of niggas is doing these days. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't, or a lot of women, because a lot of women deal with a nigga that ain't got much. And help build him up and be willing to take the chance to build him up, even though he ain't all the way there yet. So, I mean, that's like, you don't got to have a complete package these days. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's a bonus when you do come together. Like, me personally, I want somebody that already got their own. And I'm bringing the same thing we bring to the table because you're going to feel that that intimidation is what people feel or they ain't even jealous. That jealousy come in too when you feel like, oh, this person coming with more. They got this. They got their own house already. What? They got this. I need to get to where they at because that that can become jealousy because they already got their shit together. You Correct. trying to get your shit together. Correct. So, I mean, that that's real tricky right there. But that's why if you come and you both already got your own. It's like, like, like I'm coming with my own house. She coming with her own house. I got my own car. She got her own car. She got everything well taken care of. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Bill straight. Boom. We ain't complaining about nothing. So, because a lot of things that cause marriages to go down or it's finance. Finance is the main reason marriages yeah. go left. It's simple. Or infidelity. Right. You're right. right. The top. But too. finance is at the top. Like, very top. Because right. it's just like, but why would I want to? But you go at the potential. But, I mean, I mean, everybody ain't going to be all the way A1. You know what I'm saying? But it's certain age levels. Now, if a nigga 45 years old ain't got shit to show for it, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, right, this, yeah. this, this, you should already get yeah. that. And you know Johnson said, check the whole facts. And Jay said, he, he need them damn, stamps. Man. Fuck the credit score. <sighs> <laughs> 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 no, really? you still got something that's out here that can still get the stamps and still got good credit score. For check real? It out. Oh, for yeah. Real. They don't base the yeah. EBT on the credit scores based on their income. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so they can have a good credit score with and sit at home, you know. Right. right. And Candace said, women been made to think she don't need a man. Too many independent, not enough interdependence. Okay. I no matter the situation. Man, but I want a man. Yeah. No matter the situation, credit score, et cetera, we can build and grow together. Exactly. Um. <laughs> what the hell is this? Baby? Shut up, Jay. I ain't even going to read that. I am not getting ready to read that. But. Shut up. <laughs> but, yeah, I... I don't know what, <laughs> what? I'm trying to read. <laughs> yeah, potential, all that good stuff, whatever. I just feel like that no one shouldn't be intimidated by no one that just, you know, if you do see other people doing good, I just feel like that is something that you should want <laughs> to, you know, make yourself put in, you know, the, the steps and 
forward into bettering yourself instead of sitting back and being intimidated and having this jealousy or whatever in that factor like that shouldn't you know i go out here and get it it's enough for everybody Amen. it's definitely enough for everybody so a man shouldn't be intimidated by a woman and a woman shouldn't be intimidated by a man if you want that woman or that man shoot your shot and if you Bam, feel that's like it. You shoot feel, your shot. If you feel like you are <laughs> and you got to get the way you need to get to, she might motivate him to be something that he's be right. Like. Right, I ain't used to. Right. Street nigga to executive, up right. top. You know, real talk. And the shoot your shot thing, the thing about shoot your shot, it's, in, it's not, um, how I want to put that, traditional for a woman to shoot their shot. Right or wrong. You know, that's how we... I don't know, because I always shot my shot. That's where I'm coming at. I'm like, shoot my motherfucker shot. Do you hear me? I always look at that as... I don't know. I feel like a man... No, 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 no. Because I feel like a man going to go after what he want, right? Right. So if a man, like, to me, I've in my past when I was younger, but not now, but if, like, not because whatever... But I'm just saying, like, that's kind of like, like, I, that, that, that sparks my suspicion because that ulterior motive. Because if a woman come at me, I'm thinking, why she coming at me and I ain't did nothing, she don't know nothing. I always, use, I always think about like, that. Like, yeah. like, why, like, why she coming at me, who she know, what she know, what she trying to accomplish because I, in the back of my mind... Like, what's she coming at me for? You know what I'm right, saying? Right, like, not right, that I'm right, not no right. ugly nigga or whatever, whatever. It's just, I think exactly. the man should always be the chaser. You know what I mean? Right. That's just how I think. I ain't chasing so, now, but I'm going to shoot but, that. But I'm, I mean, I'm, you know what I'm saying? By yeah, shot, I'm going to shoot the shot. I'm going to shoot the shot. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to shoot the shot for you to probably chase me a little bit. No. Like, it ain't no. worse. It ain't worse, baby. You know what I'm If a woman jumping my inbox right now, I'm looking like... Hold on, who are mutual friends? What she want? What she well, got? Well, I, I, I do that with the males too. I, I, oh, I, I, I do that. that I do that too. Cause you, you, people why, why are you writing motives, me? What's man? your motive? Right. You know? right. I do that I too. I don't be thinking. But about when, about I, when I when I when I go for that three blank, huh. I don't oh, have a okay. reason. <laughs> Let me get this correct. I don't have a reason to think like to. to I try to, you know, think. I mean, I understand. I used to tell myself, don't do that, cause like what you say. I'm thinking like, what he thinking? You know, damn, do the bitch got something? Nobody want to fuck with her? Or she meant to his fault? She, you know, what the fuck going on? Like, uh, oh, she trying to set me up, you know, dealing with street and anything. Like, and 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 that's what kind of pulled me back a little bit. But then I said, shh, I'm shooting that motherfucker either. <laughs> I, I get it, though. I get it. I get For it. real. But, but, some niggas but I do. I'm like, damn, what they think of me? You right. know? A nigga's I, do. Not, I, fuck, I don't know. I just I, find out. I always found <laughs> that suspicion. That my whole like, uh, uh, what? Right. Everything yeah, I true. ever wanted, that's I done since you boom, boom, boom. I done shot mine. That's true. You know what I'm saying? And like dealing with my uncle, you know, when girls was after them, you know, I don't seem like, damn, the fuck, this bitch trying to set me up. You know, you know what I'm saying? That they think like, why she coming at me? Or but then you know they gonna go heat it and split it, you know, and go on. <laughs> yeah. Like, so it is. I mean, you know, shoot your for real. Yo, shoot your shot. I'm shoot your shot, me. ladies. It's either going to be a yay or a nay and move it along. Right. right. I, we done said this before on probably other episodes. And, and if a male well, turns you down, it's like, you know, damn, is your penis little? Because you the males don't turn women's down. I'm just saying, like, you know, like, oh. but it, <laughs> for real, though, like, damn, what he hiding? Like, he oh. know, like, like oh, what, what oh, is it? Oh, shit. I ain't oh. ugly. Damn, I look better than that thing he was fucking. You know, oh. they were posting on Facebook. Oh. Like, what? What is it? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I will tell y'all what it is. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, uh -huh. shit. Anyway. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Shut up. But for real, y'all, that's, that's real talk, y'all. I disagree with that. Like I said. Like I said. I disagree with oh, what she said. Shit. I have to shoot your oh, shot. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, some people do get their feelings hurt, Dana. They definitely do. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga is probably done hit you up, you hit him back, he done cussed you out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Like damn, because I can, and women shouldn't even get mad at that. Let me, let me 
me oh, say something oh. like, okay, so I caught myself trying to shoot my shot at this dude, right? And this was like before I even, you know, whatever. But I caught myself trying to shoot my shot or whatever. And I was like, yeah, you know, whatever. And I was trying to fuck. And just being honest, I was just trying to fuck, try to see what the hype was about. That's what the fuck was going on. Just trying, to see what <laughs> just trying to see what the fuck going on. And like, we never fucked. And I was in I but the thing, no, it's not that. It's just the point, like, I found out, like, through the grapevine anyway, that his dick was little. So I guess, like, he didn't Damn really what I be, say. <laughs> what did, did I say? I guess he didn't want to be embarrassed, like, because, you know, I guess he figured me, like, glow, big mouth, whatever. <laughs> I got me, big mouth. <laughs> you know, that like. picture taking bitch. <laughs> They put that shrimp on there for now. Yeah, like, for real, like. I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah, but Jay said, why do women get mad when a single man beats you in his shots in multiple inboxes? Should it be a limit on shots because y'all have a little problem with it now? <laughs> Hell no. You no, all of them. You single and mingling, honey. Nah, man, no, hell no. That shit lame as hell. Look, if you if you shooting in a girl, look, I used to have when I was a single, right? I used to have this thing where ignore me three times, you never talk to me again. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So I, I feel like, like if you shoot your shot once, you miss. Boom, brick. Shoot your shot twice. Boom, you miss. Brick. Shoot your shot that third time. You miss. You brick three strikes. You motherfucking out. out. She is not interested, dog. You know what I'm saying? Now you just gonna look like a creep. Always in this girl <laughs> inbox trying to holler at her like that. You look. You lame yourself out like that. You know what I'm saying? For real. So, For real. And after three times, you get annoyed. You know what I'm saying? Leave that alone, and you dead, bro. Cause that's how I am. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I used to be. You know what I'm saying? I got to clip some things up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand. We know you. We understand. You know, you know, as long as your lady knows. Right. right. She know what's up. Right. We don't care about Facebook world <laughs> like y'all think. <laughs> right. I, you know, like. Entertainment. Okay. Um, I just, I mean, we talked about this, Jay, already on one of my episodes in regards with men, like, shooting their shot. At multiple women, I mean, they're single. They're going to do what single men are going to do and be in these women inboxes. They single. They can do that. They can do whatever. If you're single, you can do whatever you want to do. But you know the oh. ones that be in the inboxes? Married men. Oh, Them dogs be barking. <laughs> <laughs> like, or ones that's in a relationship that been with the oh, woman shit. forever. Them the ones that be in the inboxes. Oh, we don't want y'all coming in our inboxes. Go home to your woman. Next. He closed right now. <laughs> she, the bitch. I saw what I want to play. No. <laughs> oh, my God. But, yeah. This is being her huh? inbox. <laughs> she not speaking for everybody. She, I she know. Speaking, that's what she is. Her inbox. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it be a mixture, no. though. I hate the ones that's. I love to take pictures, baby. I don't want to hide you. Put the, put the smiley face over with the money sign. With you, they already gonna have to know they gonna have to take pictures. You know, I don't take a picture of back of your head. I'm gonna take a picture of your birthmark by your dick. Oh. Know who you is. Next. <laughs> I'm at like glow jeans. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Yeah, I yeah. got you know. <laughs> But, yeah. And you don't have to put your business on social media, you know, but it's ways around it. You're going to know what's mine. You know, I might post just one picture, but you're going to know it ain't no hiding. I ain't looking for no Easter eggs. Nope. <laughs> no Easter eggs. Easter already passed. Yeah, already still good. the same. <laughs> I'm the golden egg. <laughs> But no, nah, let me go ahead. So, but I okay. So y'all see those little memes that they what is it? Memes or memes, whatever the yeah, fuck the you call them. Yeah, the woman and man, the black woman, the, the and the black white woman, woman yeah. and the white man, and the white woman, black we woman. No white, we ain't seen no white man, glory. What you see that? It is a white. Oh, man. I ain't seen it. Boy, that is a white man me. and a white and a black and a white woman. Oh, I ain't seen That's it, girl. Mm -mm. Are you serious? I, uh, I just seen the. I always see a black man with the. 
white woman. But have you seen the white? Have you seen one? Have you seen the white men with the with the white you woman with uh, the uh, Texas uh, thing uh, that got going uh, on? Uh, uh, I thought he was talking about how they. How I got one in my phone. A black man be with a white girl and a white man beautiful. That ain't even, yeah, that's no, that's 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 she's talking about these. Yeah, I didn't mean, if I said them. that, my bad. It's, <laughs> okay, so that's how it is. But anyway, it's this man, and it is the black man and the black woman. And the black woman had text, why we can't be together. The man said, you used to get the trains ran on you in high school. He ain't gonna care about that real he, why are you still worrying about what the fuck went on high school, in high school, nigga? This, and I, I, and I bet no, he still, he still, no, I bet you that man, he, he might, no, 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 he ain't gonna want a relationship with him because that's not, that's old Susie over there. We ran the train on it. Exactly. It don't matter. He's gonna fuck though. Y'all talking about bad sex being a no. A girl having a train ran on her is a deal breaker. You might not even never know about that. But if a girl Probably is honest you, enough I bet to admit, like admit like. an, an, if a girl is honest enough to admit that dog, like, yeah, that's a deal breaker. <laughs> I think that men are bored. I think they still gonna hit, mind, but they not gonna have no relationship they, with her. They still gonna hit, but in, yeah. her, in their mind, nobody oh, gonna wipe oh, that. Oh, they gonna get that, but they won't wipe like, her. Come on, man, niggas gonna look at Sue. Mind. You remember she used to suck our dick, man. Right. Right. <laughs> Okay, but you want me to fuck with you, but I don't want to fuck with you because you fuck with such and such and high school. Girl. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, but this is like 20 years after that we done matter, graduated though. from high school. Oh, but why the fuck that's not going to matter people, between people, a bitch getting a motherfucking some, train some dudes, ran on her in like high school? Some dudes have like... Nigga, that was almost 20 years ago. I'm a whole right, grown right, ass right, woman. Right. I got shit going on and for myself. It, Maybe I was young and you though. The problem could be the person that you dealt with. They just hate that person with everything they got in them. You know what I'm saying? So if somebody is an enemy of somebody, and you be like, man, I can't, I can't even fuck with that person because they dealt with that person. Right, I don't right, even right. fuck with that person. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that become that. So sometimes you ain't even the issue. You just the, the situation, the bad. Right. You know, right. you hung around the wrong motherfucker. I don't deal uh, with that dude. Right. All that bitch. Mm -hmm. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like I just a nigga. feel yeah. like that. That's you know. I'm not gonna. If you did get the train ran on you in high you. school, oh. that's fine. You know, like maybe no, we get. That ain't fine. <laughs> that ain't fine. Hey, but look, no real talk. Look, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I got a story though. I got a girl that was in college like this. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, she, I know she, a lot of them. She she'll walk in the room with Mike. Everybody off in the room. You know what I'm saying? And this girl, oh, I now, know. Look, 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 she is a lawyer, lawyer, she's a lawyer, and her, she's about to marry a nigga that's a lawyer too, right? But the thing about that is, her husband will never know about who she was in college, right there, unless yeah. she come across people that he met. He'll never know that unless he is around people. So that's, and it ain't a lot of his people, business. that's why a lot of people move, or a lot of people relocate, move or away. you don't know nothing about it. They got a whole new start to their future. So if you got a hundred bodies in Greenville, that's why I said, you got a hundred bodies you in Greenville, you got now zero in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is that, Atlanta? Did you move that? Oh, you that bitch in Atlanta? Differently. Wow. 
Oh, you get sure. what I'm saying? Like it's ran differently. Like with a female having a train, it's all niggas busting. Boom, boom, boom. Right. Back to back, back, More boom. Better. Goddamn, with a bitch, goddamn, ran the train on a nigga. She passing his ass around. Telling her girl. And, yeah, tell, you know, I ain't yeah. never thought of it like that. So when a yeah. nigga like that, hit friends, best friends. And he cousin, thinking he he getting he over. Yeah, over. yeah. I don't fuck her cousin. Like like she don't that. know. But nigga, we know. Like, yeah, that's that's she don't know. Like, she got put all that shit in rotation, like real talk. This all new to me, but it makes sense. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. <laughs> this shit new, but it makes sense. Y'all run trains differently. So but but the difference. Oh, wait, shit. let me tell you. Let me tell you the difference. Let me tell you the difference Let's between talk. a male and a female. Though, like running. Okay, the male, wow. him and his. Okay, like say for instance, you don't ran through the cousin, everybody, everybody, but your homeboy, you see them. Y'all still gonna be friends, but sometimes the females. Oh, they, you know, they get mad and, you know, at first we all, but then they get mad and, you know, flip out, like. Oh, mm. my God. What? You, what, Blake? This shit is profound, like. Oh, shit. <laughs> like, 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 it makes sense to me. Like, but you thinking you, like, why the hit her, her cousin, her best friend? Like, you thinking you... And guess what we doing? They they talking move, about move, you. Move. Girl, did he do you like this? Oh, he did. Oh, girl. Breathing hard, all that shit. Like, we right, already right. talking about it. I, like, I, y'all can be rent. Yes. Going back to what I said, I actually, it was kind of confusing. I'm talking about, like, if the girl... Like, say, friends, you start being cool with a female. You know, you just met her in school, boom, boom, boom. And you used to date her ex, you know, not knowing. You know, y'all don't know each other, whatever. That female will get, you know, she'll start not liking. Y'all be cool at first, but because you done fuck her now man, like, she's in a relationship with him now. That's what I'm saying. And she'll, you know, oh, she don't want to talk to you or none of that. But if it's a male, say, for instance, if her spouse used to go with glory, like, you know, her friend or whatever, and the males, they still gonna stay friends if they, you know, become friends. They gonna kick it. They right. gonna go out for drink. Like, yeah. Us females can't do that for some reason. Like y'all, let, I can. I can too, so, but nah, I don't sometimes, understand. Like sometimes the homeboy be the recommendation. Like he already done told her about it, and then like you just oh oh he said it was all right. All right, then I'm about to jump in the inbox now. Boom boom to see if she go. Some females mm-hmm. might hit you with oh yeah, I used to talk to your homeboy and blah blah blah. But if they don't give a fuck, then they gonna come. Right. You know I mean? right. But sometimes right. that person done got word for somebody else. That's why I said, you remember it's what still I have but this, No, no, no. This goes back to what I say. When females jump in my inbox, it's suspicious because why? why? See, that goes back you to see, it. So yeah. who are you talking to? Who you having conversations with? How are you coming back? Now do yeah, it make sense yeah, why I'm yeah, yeah, of that yeah, shit? Yeah. Cause shit, shit like I do it. too. Oh, right. Sorry but for spilling the beans. I, I, I really <laughs> end up on the, on the great, 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 great and pay. You know, <laughs> I'm trying to figure yeah. out who fit you. <laughs> right. <laughs> I ain't right. doing no searching. I don't give a damn. Be like, whatever. I do, because it be a motor, boy. Y'all don't play fair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. That right there, I don't, I, don't I, I just feel like if the girl got ran the train on her, let her be her. And goddamn, if you want to goddamn wife her ass up, wife her up. But that she shouldn't even matter. Like, most of if you like her to... because she done changed right. up, you might like her. Yeah. But you you'll never know, though. But sometimes, sometimes if she's you not don't know honest enough to tell you that, mm-hmm. how many girls are going to be honest enough? Do you know how many good girls right. that, I, that I know personally that they got to change <laughs> train around on her? And they look like these the good college girls, right? <laughs> that you think they is, but... She a freak hoe. Well, you like, <laughs> freak hoe. You, uh, you gonna be like, okay, this is not the same girl, <laughs> right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I mean, you'll never know. So <laughs> yep, you will never know. So don't don't be like you don't want to fuck with her because you scared what your homeboy is gonna say. If you like her, fuck with her. Go for it. Period. Right. You know, because she can judge you off your past. Like uh uh-uh, uh, you fuck. Such a man such. can never be judged off his past though. You know why? You tell me why? Cause why? Look, I, it, see, for some reason, this is how society looks at men. A woman wants a man that's highly sought after. All women want that. So it don't matter if I done dealt with thousands of women, thousands of women. I'm a man that's highly, highly sought after. A man doesn't will not wife a woman that's highly sought after because he knows she done been with so many different men. So she's like she's tainted. We look at it and that as tainted. Y'all look at it as an achievement. You see what I'm saying? Because I was able to tame this man that was so wild and this and this and this. 
he had all this and highly sat after. But you, you get what I'm saying? He changed for he me. He changed for I me. Got, right. Yeah. So he changed and became this for me. But a man will not wife a woman like that because he know she's been with all these different men. And that's real. That's mm-hmm. how that's how it really that's works. That's fucked up. That ain't fucked up. That's just fucked up. Because it makes sense. Because people can change. You, you people can right, definitely right, change. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's just how that's how it's always gonna be. A man is highly sought Again, after, like Latoya Bell said, definitely a, a double standard. Double standards, right. It, it definitely right. is. Right. It is what it is. Yeah, it is. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, if you like a lover, period. That's period. True. That's true. <laughs> that's true. Um, <laughs> Okay. Goes back to another thing I said. What? <laughs> I didn't even say it, but it just goes back. That goes back to the same thing I said. Okay. So another um post that I had saw in conversations with Glow. And shout out to John and Jason for putting me on this. Um basically the post said, I want a nigga I can hit with a car and still going to fuck with me. Woo! Is it love or Would toxic? Would that be considered <laughs> as toxic or love? Like uh speaking from a person that has done it or you know tried to it's love but it's toxic love like it's shit, i don't even know it like it's love like but they can make you so angry to where hey you just you'll spass out i guess that'll be toxic Me personally <laughs> i don't even think that i will probably <laughs> toy said that's love I guess. It, it, it's love. You go home, make love. It's all over with. Look. No, no. Uh, that is toxic as fuck. Like, I don't want no nigga that I can hit with a car and he's still gonna fuck with me. Nigga, is you stupid? Toxic. Yes, that's toxic as I mean, fuck. It's like a young mind stage, though. A little person think this. Like, you think people that. Some people think that people that, like, I don't know, they be, they be stuck in. Uh, what's the. Uh, they be stuck. Thank in, God for growth. No, they, they have a, like like you think someone's gonna become better. You know what I'm saying? Like people stay in abusive situations or abusive relationships because like one, I don't know. I I don't want to go deep into that because it might violate. Some people might be feeling some type of way, but oh. I just think that um I don't know. I think people stay in those situations because themselves they not healed. They're weak. They're they can't grow out of it because they lack something or that person gives them something they lack in this area but 80 percent of the time is terrible you know what i'm saying but you yeah. you're it's like you're chasing a high the basically right. what yeah. it is so yeah. it's like chasing a high of thinking that it's gonna get better or at one point it was like this but now it's not like that and you stand in this abuse but you're trying to get it back to that high so i mean like that's how i look at it so yeah, yeah some so, people love it some, some people, people like that they get a kick out of but that's, that's i've been sitting there like why you can leave you could do this right. you could do that but that's what they like. Right. That's what they accustomed to. Right. And, and sometimes they could be, you know, grew up and seen their mama or daddy get beat mm-hmm. on all the time. Uh-huh. So and they, they think and that's the way of life. Right. They think it's normal. Yeah. 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 It can definitely be, I don't know. I, I <laughs> like, I, I don't want to be with anybody <clears throat> that I can hit with the car. Yeah. <laughs> like I like nigga, leave me the fuck alone. If if, if we done got right. to the That's point right. that I done hit killer. you with a car, <laughs> leave right, me the fuck right, alone. Right. And Mill said that nah, that nigga stupid because never know next time <laughs> right. she might she kill his kill ass. Right, right. Uh, yeah, you right. gotta let that toxic shit go. Right. right. You definitely do I gotta agree. let it go. And Latoya said I agree because I was in a situation like that and it was toxic as fuck. Never hit the nigga with my car, though. Just my fist. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah. It's not funny, fuck. but, you know, <laughs> it is. But, I, I, like, nigga, can you leave me alone? Like, we done got to this point, like, I done probably hit you with the car. I don't want you to still fuck with me. But just don't press charges on me. Right. But just don't fuck with me no more. And we good. Like, you know, like, glow, I don't want to fuck with you no more. Unless she one of those, like, why you don't want to fuck with me no more? Because I hit you with a car. Really? <laughs> really? Because yeah, I hit you with a car? God right. damn, we can get past this. We done got past other things. <laughs> <laughs> but you get mad? Really? Uh-huh. That shit was... Did you still... I did. Thank you. Wow. I was, I was, you gotta understand. You was, I was you was young and now. you thought that shit was, was dope. 20. Like, nigga. You know she almost hit me with a motherfucking you car. No, she did. I got hit with a car. <laughs> oh, she, he said he, he did. Oh, shit. And I was, what did she you hit stay you with? with? Yeah. Uh-uh. 
Probably the lid. On your legs. I got hit. I got hit, but I didn't go like. See, the thing is, a lot of people seeing it when it happened, so they run it up like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't even want to go into the TV yeah, details to. to tell my story. But like, yeah, I, got... I done hit my car, and I at that time at 20 years old, I did stay with that person because huh. I was young and stupid. That's why I said you got to be young, my. And young, so, yeah. everybody had to be young, yeah. Right, right. So it, it does. Sad. It definitely does. And y'all, we're gonna go ahead and um wrap it on up with this last on topic. Really? We don't wanna go. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. That is sweet. But um, so I was scrolling on Twitter today, and um, and I came across this post and I was just like, you know, this would probably be something that should be talked about. And it, and she said, niggas don't know how to mentally support a female. A female would be a nigga therapist. Pastor, support system, diary, and etc. And a nigga wouldn't even help a bitch who overthinks. Accountant. <laughs> huh? I said accountant, you know. Yeah, like, like help him with the money, all that. Like, I, I feel it though. Like, you can she see. She said niggas don't help support women mentally. Who overthinks? Like, you don't help me be, you know, you don't help me with this type of. I guess, I don't know if overthinking can possibly be like an illness. I don't want to call it that. But it's just like, okay, you know, I overthink all the time. But you're not helping me with with what I'm overthinking about. Like, you still allowing for me to overthink a situation that you should be talking to me about and giving me security about that I shouldn't have to sit up here and overthink well, anything. Well, you don't get it again. <laughs> it's not even a... You done did it one time, okay? It's just like like one time. You probably done did something one time. And I need for you to give me that type of security for me to know that you're not going to do it again. Don't allow for me to be sitting up here overthinking. But you don't know how to have that conversation with me. But you want me to sit up here. You want me to goddamn talk to you. How the fuck you can goddamn calm your nerves. Or give you tips on what to do. Help you goddamn pay a bill. Or goddamn help you finance. Whatever it is. Like I can sit down and I can be with you. We can go to church together. Amen. Whatever. But you can't be there for me like I be there for you. That's all about sacrifice, though. Like, I think it's important that people sacrifice. Because if you want to be with somebody, you got to sacrifice. So, like, what you were just talking about, being there for somebody. Like, a woman, mentally, does, that's why you should tune in to what... Like, I ask people... I don't even just do this with my mom. I just ask, Eric, like, how you feeling? What's your mind? What you thinking about? Or what... You know what I'm saying? Because you want to know a person's mind state in... Mm-hmm. If you can have a conversation with them that build their confidence or build something in them, they might be having a down or they might be deep into thinking about something and they, well, what what, what do you think about this? And they ask for your advice. So, I mean, you got to be mindful of how, you know, you talk to people and how, like, you you just want to be a... Providing is one thing because that's every man should be a provider, but there's other, like, an emotional state. You need to know what your woman's emotional state is, mm-hmm. how she's feeling, or if she say, I just need a hug, you know what I'm saying? Or, I just need love, or I just need to feel like I'm I'm beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You have to pay attention to those signs because sometimes a woman can scream that out without saying it, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That's yeah. why a man should be aware of those things, so that's how that's my take on that. So I think... And what's crazy is when you ask, I, I text my girl that I support you mentally. You know what I'm saying? And I, I read the response. Look, look, I'm going to tell you. What she, look, what you she asked said, what her same question that she just asked, dude, I, and she was like, man, she feel like women don't feel like men support them. That's oh, okay, why I asked okay, you what okay. it was. And then she said, yes, you always ask me about my mentally damn near on a daily basis. You yep, see what I'm saying? Yep. So sometimes I just tuned in just to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Straight mm-hmm. up. But I knew that already, but. That's just my take on it. <laughs> What's your take what? on it? What's your take on it? I'm trying. I don't want to pass my test. 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 Do you feel like... I don't know. I just feel like that. Do you want to pass my test? No, okay, y'all. She forgot the question, y'all. So let me say it again. So it says... Oh, boy, so it boy, says Niggas don't know how to mentally support a female. A female would be a nigga therapist, pastor, support system, diary, and etc. And a nigga wouldn't even help a bitch who overthinks. That's true. That's true. Damn. You want that security? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
So Mia said, know what to do in that situation. Some men don't. Some men think money solved them kind of issues, but not knowing that ain't really helping. Women won't confront and uh, won't comfort and attention in time when they having problems like that. Exactly. You gotta understand. Like you gotta be able to sit up here and read her signs. You gotta be able to know her and to be able to have that communication. Communication is a big thing. It's it's it's. Communication, communication is everything, y'all. I always yeah. say that. Like, communication is everything. In it's her body honest. language, in his body language. Like, you may know his, but her body language. Get to know her body language and feeling like you'll know if she's happy. Or if you, even if you know if she's happy, she is still ask her, you know, how she doing, how was her day, how was work, whatever. Like, also, men want that type of whatever. But yeah, what she's good. saying is that women give it too much that... They don't know how to give it back. And that's kind of selfish. If you don't know how to give that back, that means that I feel like that's something that you may have to work within yourself as well. But it's all good, you know? Nah, but, I disagree with that. I feel like a woman... I feel like a, 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 a woman... This is my honest opinion. This is only me, only myself. This is how I believe. I feel like a woman should teach a man how to love her. Because that that's that falls in the communication part. Because if nice. as as we going along and as our relationship is building and getting better, you're supposed to be communicating things to me. So yeah, that, I'm learning you, and I'll, that I'm yeah. learning you and I'm learning you. So if I do something incorrectly and you correct my behavior then and there when it happened or in the like or you pull me to the side at a different time and say, I ain't like how you did this when wheels around such and such. Yeah, okay, my nice bad, baby, I won't do it again. So you, you have to teach that communication is key in a relationship because like, a man and a one, and not only one, because I'm making it one side. A man got to teach his woman how to love him as well. So you, it goes both ways. You got to teach people how to love you, and if they don't appreciate the thing that you do after you show them, and you do, yeah, and they, they keep the, doing the right, same right, old right. old tricks, old right. stuff, and you just treat you the same but way, you, you let it right, go. Right, right. But that's why you know I ain't, I ain't gonna go into what I was I'm gonna leave that alone. But yeah, you have to stop I feel like yeah, just, just, keep, just keep it at <laughs> that. Like you have to teach somebody how to love you. And we yeah. having a family gathering. We got. Facebook That's what it is. You have to teach people how to love you. Love is love. You know, love is caring. You know, love is communication. Communicate. That's all y'all have to do. Um, but how you get that sixty views at the end? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I didn't but y'all. Okay. So y'all, I just want to say this. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to conversations with Glow. Oh wait, wait one second. Uh, Dana said one person can pour into the other mm -hmm. more, and that's can. that's basically what yep. she's saying mm -hmm. is that one person can pour into the other more, and that person can be expecting that back. But like I always say, is that you cannot treat up. You can't expect for a person to treat you like how you would treat them. You would treat them some type of way, but you cannot expect for them to treat you back that way. It's only up to you if you're going to accept that, you know, how they like, are treating you. This should be a conversation because, mm -hmm. like, rather look, somebody be loyal, like, I would choose loyalty over love any day. You know why? Because you may, you can hate somebody and be loyal to them. You know what I'm saying? You can be scared or you can fear somebody and be loyal to them. That's why I say loyalty over love because you ain't got to love me. You know what I'm saying? But as long as because a dog, a dog, no matter what, if it came down to it, a dog that's loyal to his owner is going to die for that owner. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be 100. So I say I would rather somebody be loyal, more loyal than, I, than love because you know that's forever. Loyalty don't switch up and change. You know what I'm saying? A person can be disloyal. But I mean, ain't no coming back from that. But I mean, as far as like that loyalty part, like that's I feel like that's important because if you had that loyalty in your relationship, oh, like you know, this is a ride, no matter what. <laughs> no, you know what I'm saying. You just know at the end of the day, ain't nothing like that. You know what I'm saying. Like y'all can grow to hate each other. At one point, it was love. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. But, but as long as at the end of the day, they ain't gonna embarrass you. They ain't gonna have you out here looking stupid. They ain't gonna. They they are loyal to you, and they they hold it. You know what I'm saying. So I think. Loyalty is more important than love 
Take on the church, Blake. What you just said, I can pull it up right now, Blake, and show your loyalty. <laughs> That's right. I agree with it 100%. Well, communication and loyalty. Right. <laughs> loyalty over love. That's what it is. I, and, and you explained that damn well. That's that's exactly how I feel. Mm -hmm. um, but again, thank you, Blake, for breaking that down. Thank y'all so much for coming out. Thank y'all for everybody that was watching. I definitely do appreciate it. It's been fun. My mind gone, but thank you. <laughs> she done got a little lit. But anyway, Lord, hold on, wait. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> people that come from bad relationships, and well, Milton said people that come up from bad relationships end up treating that person like how they got treated. That's how it is nowadays because they broken. Right. Right. They, they are broken. They but again, like sometimes they can still. I don't know can, because see, that, that still be the opposite. Be, you know, they can be the opposite. I don't know, like what Blake been saying. No, says. I like that picture. You ain't never seen that picture of like a, like a broken picture with glass everywhere. Or you can start over completely with a new. Like I feel like you shouldn't bring the same problems from a past relationship to a new relationship, new especially if that person is treating you differently. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you can be conditioned that way. Though a lot of women are conditioned after their mothers, whether they like it or dislike it, because things that you've seen Ooh. in your mother that you grow up. Like I've learned that as as a man, like. Like, the women in your life have a major effect on that woman because they do things, they behave. So, if their mama was a clean woman, cleaned up, dude, all this that's and that. That's what you're going to expect. They, they gonna, that's going to come. That's, that. that's going to be yeah, in girl. them because that's how their mama is. So, a lot of girls, whether they dislike or like their mama, they end up being a lot like them. Mm -hmm. So, if you pay attention to how the mama is and her relationship, whether she's married or not. Now, if her mama is 45, 50, <sighs> single, out here, like, you got to pay know, attention bro. to... <laughs> now, for real shit, <laughs> Because you have to pay attention how the, the mama's behaving because the child is going to get it. And, and, nah, that's uh, a lot of the time. That's a lot of the time. For real, it's a lot. lot. Y'all tripping, for real. It is. I feel what you I learned from. it. Yeah. I had to. I yeah, it, it, it comes from... How you was brought up and, yeah. and, and, and what you saw and, and what you uh what what your mama allowed and you know. I'm gonna give you an example. A lot of these girls, mamas that was forty five, fifty single, they end up being the same way, forty five, don't think about don't get care about being married, multiple baby daddies. All, yeah. all that shit is just real because yeah. it's it's oh. because they it's a learned behavior. Cause you ain't she ain't never Shows seen her mama with yeah, a man never... that was like that way and how to be, you know what I'm saying? A lot mm -hmm. of that shit happens. And then if you look on the other hand, a lot of girls do see that and they end up becoming that whether it was different in the beginning. Right. So true. Right. Really? I can agree. I, I can definitely I'll agree. I just tell my mama, me. yeah, my husband, <laughs> she got a great husband, you know. You know. <laughs> I consider him a man. Well, I, I, I need to find somebody like that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> You like, well, but y'all make a on the way here. I told her that. I was like, you know, it ain't always the man that, you know, be acting up. <laughs> it be the women too. It be what? <laughs> you know, okay, y'all. So, y'all caught that? Woo, family before we close it out, do anybody have anything else they want to say? Do anybody want to add in on this conversation? Yeah, or anything in that matter? <laughs> Your girl was about to be late. Okay. Y'all, it's been fun tripping me. with y'all. Again, I definitely do want to thank you all for tuning in to Conversations with Glow. If you like what you saw and you like what you heard, go ahead and click that. Go ahead and click that share button. And clicking that That's share true. button will allow for you to, you know, whatever. But just thank y'all for fucking with me. Y'all have a good night. It's been fun. Peace. Peace. <laughs>